Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. This week I have a really fun one. So we're going to be opening a gallery, a light box actually, so the gallery in the light box, by clicking on some other link. Not like having a gallery on the page, but what I'm talking about is clicking on like a button or an image or a hyperlink and then the light box appears. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So from YouTube, you can find your way over to our blog post by clicking the link in the description. Now, the first step here is adding your Divi gallery module to your layout. So there has to be the gallery in your layout somewhere, but we're going to hide it. We only actually want the images to pop up in the light box. So we don't really want to see like a grid of images or something like that. So to do this, so add, add your module and your images, and then we have to use CSS display none. Um, I thought that we could do it with like the visibility conditions, um, but it doesn't work because it's, it's difference between display and visibility in CSS. So we need to use display none so that it's still on the page. It's just not showing. <laughs> Um, so, take this here, display none, important, like that, and go into your gallery module. So open up the module, go to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and in this main element, you could paste or write display none, important, and you can even see it's hidden now in the builder. And actually there is one more thing in here. We have to add a custom class. And in this one, we're just keeping it super simple, PA gallery. So just go into the gallery module, advanced tab, CSS ID and classes. And right here in this CSS class field, paste that or write it PA gallery. So that's important because that's what our code will be opening. It will be opening that gallery. All right, so now the next step is to figure out what trigger you want to open this, right? So do you want it to be a button? Do you want it to be an image or some other module? It could be any module. Or maybe you just want it to be like a link within a paragraph or something like that. That's fine. Any of those options are perfectly fine. They all will work the same way, which is really great. So what I'm going to do is just show you those three options. I'm going to show you with a button, an image, and just a link. I think That'll be nice just to show you each one. So for that, you'll, you'll decide on that wherever you want that in your layout, and then you'll add that module or whatever, and then take this PA gallery trigger as the class that we need to paste into that module. So again, we put PA gallery in the actual gallery. Now let's say I'm using this, doing this button one, I will open up the module settings, go to the advanced tab and put that in the CSS class field. Now for the actual link in here, that's nothing. You don't need to put anything in here. So in the link toggle, just go ahead and like put that or something like a hash symbol. And then the main thing again is that class right here. Okay. So now this button will open that. It will function the same as if I was just clicking an image and it would open, okay? Now, like I said, you can do any of those three. You could do the exact same thing, depending on which one you wanna do, if you wanted to do it to the image. And in fact, we could do it and make them all open the same ones. I'll just go ahead with it. So in the image module, now you can do that. Same thing, right? Um, the link can just be this. Now in, in the text, um, that's slightly different. You can just actually put the link right here. If you see how it says class like that, PA gallery trigger within the um, href and the a tag and the anchor link tag. So that's how you would do that. But either way, that class is added to the trigger, however way you're doing it. All right, next step is the jQuery. That's actually um, one click. When you click that module, gallery opens, <laughs> okay? So place, paste the jQuery wherever you, you can copy and paste this jQuery and put it into your website wherever you normally do, whether that's your child theme or in Divi, or you could put it directly in a code module on the page. 
I think I'm going to do that um, just to keep it simple here. Code, and then I'll just paste that. And you can actually see here that uh, the jQuery is looking for this PA gallery trigger. Yeah, and then on when it clicks on that, it's doing the click function for the gallery right here, PA gallery. It's opening that. So now we're all set. All right, so let's test this out. I'm going to first try the button. So let's click on that. And there you go. You can see that it has, what, five images. And you can see the, it's the normal light box, like, like as if I was clicking an image in a gallery, right? Let's try the image. And it, it'll be the same for each. And this link here from the text, going to do it too. Now you may notice this purple one always opens first, the number one. And you may have noticed in the code, we have this nth child one. And I have a little description of it here. So that's saying which image in the gallery do you want to open first? So in our code, we said the first one. So every time I click this, it's always that first one, one of five. Okay. Now I'll just change it just to show you. All right, so open up the where we have the jQuery code, and you can see nth child one. Let's make this bigger. I'm just going to um, change that to like three, something like that. And you can pick whichever image in order that you would want. So I chose three. All right, so now when I click it, you can see three of five. It's always going to open on this. All right. I think this is a really cool tutorial. And I even have a follow-up tutorial for this coming. And I'm going to use the image, and I'm below the image, I'm going to say um, a text, like, see here how it says three of five? So what I'm going to do in the next tutorial, it'll say, like, open gallery, um, you know, and it'll say, like, how many images there are in that gallery. So I think that'll be a cool one. It's kind of like an add-on or like a follow-up to this one. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll try to do different ones here in the series for the Divi Gallery. And if you did enjoy it, leave me a comment and thumbs up, that helps. And subscribe, because this is what we do every single week. We do something related to Divi or code or WordPress, something like this. So I hope you enjoy that, and we'll see you all in our next video.